It's 6.30 a.m. We're in Glendale, Arizona. I've got my Diamondbacks colors on, and it's time for a ride. Let's go. For those of you who aren't in Arizona or aren't baseball fans, the Diamondbacks are Arizona's team. And in case anyone asks you, although I doubt they will, a Diamondback is a type of rattlesnake. And yes, we have them here. I ordered my coffee on the app, and I'm practicing using the pickup area because the dining room is going to be closed for remodeling fairly soon. Okay, we're out on the road, and something that a lot of people don't even seem to realize is the temperature changes in the desert. It's cool in the morning. It's a wonderful 76 degrees right now. It'll be 105 later on, but I won't be out in that. My heart goes out to people who have no choice except to go out there when it's very hot. But I have a choice, so I get out in the cool of the mornings and ride. I really don't like the idea of doing errands or going to places, so I just kind of find myself somewhere. So today I'm going to find myself at the grocery store. This neighborhood, which is just south of Cactus Road, is a transitional area. It's okay, but it's not as nice as if you went like a mile north and it starts to get very expensive. I stopped and talked to a friend of mine that I see all the time and shall remain unnamed because that's what he wanted, who's having a lot of trouble understanding the rules and regulations of an HOA, but he's getting better. Speaking for myself, I've never had any difficulty with HOAs or civil laws or federal laws or state laws or all that stuff. I learned them because that's what I thought everybody did when they grew up. I know them pretty well and I don't break them. Of course it's one thing to know the rules and regulations and laws and such and it's another thing to do a shared space which is what I like to do. I grew up in a very crowded neighborhood in Minneapolis, and I lived in Los Angeles for several years, and in those places, you have to learn how to share the space, be a good neighbor. Although I really do like wide open spaces, and that's part of the reason I like to get out early and ride. Coming up on Sweetwater Avenue, which is just a few minutes away from the Walmart neighborhood market where we're going to stop. The desert cools off at night, but when that sun comes up, it starts getting hot fast, so I'm guessing it's probably already in the 80s. This is 75th Avenue, and the next stop is the Walmart Neighborhood Market, which is just south of Thunderbird Road. Here we are. Detroit carries a lot of stuff, bigger stuff I order online, but I get like fresh fruit and veggies and steaks and such. Coming in slowly for a landing, and taxiing in carefully, we're almost there. A nice three point landing, time to go inside. Okay, I got my groceries. Time to unlock the trike and load it up. It actually carries quite a lot. I always carry a thermal bag, and the trick is to buy some frozen food to go in there. It keeps everything else cold. I really don't say that I can cook, but I learned to prepare food as a starving student at ASU, and I can still make stuff. Nothing fancy, but it gets me by. I always buy a single banana when I stop here and I stand there and peel it and eat it and watch the world go by, then go home. Thanks for riding along with me today. I'll see you next time.